you from Boston, such a beautiful city on the banks of the River Charles. Some of the guests include Governor Michael Dukakis, Robert Yurk, and the cast of Spencer for Hire. Absolutely. We spared no expense. We have there an actual picture of Boston. It's incredible <laughs> what we'll do. Spanning the globe. Also, singer Suzanne Vega, Julia Child on her home turf. Lots yeah. of stuff in Boston. See you tomorrow. So we'll see you then. Joan London's wardrobe provided by Lily Rubin. Is that your son? He's cute. Nancy's plan to win back Ben goes into action. We are trying to do the same thing now, aren't we? Yeah, we are. She finds an ally in John. Eleven months ago in New Orleans, I lost the love of my life. Nancy, Doc, can you tell Lizzie his name? Benedict Oliver Shelley. And now, Ben has to answer to Lizzie. You know me. Trust me. Well, now she's here. What are you going to do? On Ryan's Hope, weekdays. Oh, stay tuned, you lovebird you. Coming up next, we're going to talk with married couples who work together every day. And we'll have some delightful autumn centerpieces to make. Standard. Cheers, today at 5 on Channel 12. From the studios of WKRC-TV, it's the Ira Joe Fisher Show. Now, here's Ira Joe. Hi, 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 hi. How are you? We on our program today, because it is the season about which we will be thinking about such things, are going to be making in a few moments some seasonal autumn centerpieces for your home. They're beautiful. And Jan Holdhouse is here to share with us that information. Joycey will be chatting with her about that. What we're going to do right now, though, first of all, is talk with and about married people who work together every day. And I would like you to welcome to our program our married couples who will participate in this discussion. The uh, delightful duo from Q102, ladies and gentlemen, Janine Coyle and Chris O'Brien. I want you to welcome Janine and Chris. <laughs> Come on, there they are. From the law firm of Gaines and Gaines, ladies and gentlemen, Deborah K. Gaines and Leslie Isaiah Gaines. All right, let's talk with Janine and Chris. Now, you're in a real pressure pot situation, profession, and, uh, and I know from whence I talk, uh, I couldn't take the pressure. That's why I got out. Um, I got into TV, something easy, without any pressure. Mm -hmm. um, please keep watching this show and, and tell your friends. Uh, do you two listen to each other on the air? Your, your, your shifts used to uh, run, what was it called? Uh, back to back. Back to back, that's it. I never think of that term. Love that intellectual talk. You were on from 6 to 10, still are, Q yeah. Morning Zoo. Mm -hmm. And then, Janine, you were on from 10 to 2. Now right. you're on from 2 to 6. I mean, mm -hmm. do you listen to each other? I guess that's what I'm asking yeah. somewhat circuitously. I listen to him every morning. Yeah. Every morning. And he, I tell him what I think. I'm usually taking a nap. Which is, <laughs> <laughs> I just stay out of it completely. Anyway. She, she tells you what she thinks, Chris. Yeah, well, I'm open for that. Yeah. I did just ask for the Gaines's card, but I'm... <laughs> no. <laughs> no, uh... <laughs> no, we critique each other a lot. I mean, he'll ask me, do you think this is funny? Or, and I'll say, do you think this is funny? Do you like what I did here? Or do you think this would work? Or, mm -hmm. you know, and we, we watch a lot of television news programs together to know what's, what's happening sure. in the world. Obviously, you have to be up to date on things. And Star I think, Trek. Yeah. Star Trek, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's still on, isn't it? It's important. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was, it, it, it does, um, what, what are some of the negatives, then, that, that come into working in the same building and for the same company. Sometimes I think you're a little too close to the situation. I think that, that you bring it home sometimes and you, you don't really want to, but you can't really help it. Try to you limit know. it to yeah. just as, you know, if there's anything new during the day since I leave around noon and she gets home about 6.30 or 7, uh, you know, anything happened this afternoon, anything new around the building or whatever, and then put it aside until... Uh, you know, the next day. I'm wondering, were you reluctant to pursue romance when you first became interested in romance with each other because you did work together? Yeah. Well, it wasn't love at first. You said time. that awfully fast. It right? wasn't. That's right. And we'll be back. In <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, was, uh, it wasn't really love at first sight. Um, I don't think we, we liked each other. A couple, of years, uh, a couple of years after, uh, you know, we first met. Was that that period of time when you had a crush on me? No, that, was that was it. That yeah. was it. Yeah. <laughs> I, th I, I was thinking that was what it was. Well, so, so the relationship evolved over a period of time. Mm -hmm. yeah, we were just friends. Like I said, the first time we met each other, we didn't like each other. I mean, we, it's not that we didn't like each other. It just 
they just weren't comfortable. Yeah, you, you know. it didn't click. Right. But you did work together at that time. Right. Yeah, when I, did it I followed her on the air, actually. She was doing All Nights you know, back in 79. All right, but when was it obvious that, wait a minute, we have a romance here, and we've got some serious thinking now, whether or not we can have a romance and also work together? Well, I, it, was, it was very easy for us because we were able to become friends first without having mm -hmm. any of the pressure of, of, of dating. You know, we saw each other on a very Plus casual basis. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> on a very casual <laughs> basis every day, and it just evolved, basically. I mean, rather than, like, to have to go to the Masonette, you could just meet at the right. Servo Mason for a cup of coffee. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, at uh, 10 o'clock. See and you in the chip then, machine. <laughs> well, very that, romantic, yeah. <laughs> well, so what have been some of the benefits that you have enjoyed from working together? Um, I enjoy... Uh, uh, what am I trying to say? <laughs> you enjoy this TV show. <laughs> That's right. You enjoy c consulting with Chris on your career. Yeah, and, and I also think it's easier, as would be with the gains, you know how transient this business is, the moving around. Um, and if you two were to move, you would be able to pick up together. It's the same way with us. For instance, if he were a lawyer and I was on the radio, it might be a little difficult for him to just pick up and move with me. You see, and, and there's that I enjoy the, the understanding of the business. Do you think of yourselves as a set as far as potential future employment is concerned? Sure. Especially you have your own business, and, and uh, the Gaines have their own business. I mean, it's not something you would move probably to another city. But see, my wife is a divorce lawyer. <laughs> you see? So knowing that she and she often tells me, hey, if we don't make it, <laughs> I have it. Them, right. Right. Right, let's hear the reactions of your co-workers at Q102. Everybody was, was very supportive right from the start. Because we went out for several years before we were married, because we were married about two and a half years. So. I waited for him to beg me. <laughs> well, I think that's that right. it ought to be. And it took four <laughs> long years to know. Did you but, uh, keep your marriage a secret from your listeners? It was a situation where it was really no big secret, but if it came up, then... So you know, be it? So be it, yeah. But it wasn't by design that you, you decided not to, because, um, you know, maybe that would cause you to, uh, well, I don't know, if you're out of circulation, mm -hmm. would you worry about the listeners maybe, I don't know, not, not listing? <laughs> I don't know. You know I, I have always, uh, I was a little more par paranoid about it in the beginning of us being separate people. Mm -hmm. in in the workplace and and on the radio too um, you know I I want to I want to get ahead on my own and not because sure. I'm connected with another person or and vice versa and we we worked very hard to establish well that. you and you certainly are a success in your own right and you both are and uh, yet I think our business is peculiar mm -hmm. in that you're often put under a microscope that other people are not subjected to that kind of a mm -hmm. scrutiny mm -hmm. Has anybody ever not known that you're married and been in your... For example, has anyone ever maybe asked you out while Chris has been there not knowing you're married? No, but didn't you have somebody at, at the car we were giving away ask what I look like or something? Yeah, ask if you, you know, Janine is good looking mm -hmm. what she sounds or something like that. I said, yeah, yeah, well, she's having my baby, so <laughs> uh, I hope she is. And uh, he kind of... Mm. Like, what's going on there's, here? Must be fun to work itself. there. Yes, humorous situations sometimes. Well, that's how the ra radio stations have those reputations. Anyway. Yeah, we're, you know, down and dirty, but still. What is different in your lives than you thought it would be since you have been married? Because you're married and working together, I'm talking about. I think it meshes very well together. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just a, like any other relationship in the workplace. I mean, there's other relationships you have to work on, too. And yeah, marriage is no different. Some people a, maybe couldn't handle it. Go I ahead. just say it's a little different now because when she was doing afternoon or middays before, we've got to see a little more of each other. Now with her doing afternoon, sometimes I'm gone, uh, you know, when uh, she comes in around the middle of the day and we won't see each other from the evening before Ooh. till, uh, uh, you know, the next evening. Well, I'm glad you could get here on the show together. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot. Have a change a bit, as a matter of fact. <laughs> we need to take a break. We'll do that. Continue our discussion when we come back. Stay with us.